Hi, I'm Greg Dusor. I'm an associate professor at the University of Texas at Dallas, and I'm in the Behavioral and Brain Sciences Department. Well, we're spending all of our time trying to figure out how migraines happen. Uh, they're the third most common disease on Earth. Uh, we really don't know where they come from, and until we get a better handle on exactly where they originate, uh, how they perpetuate themselves, uh, what the underlying pathology is, we're not going to be able to design better drugs for migraine. And the drugs that we currently have are not very good. Migraine is unlike any other pain condition. I've been interested in pain my entire research career, but migraine is, is somewhat unique among pain conditions in that it has a lot of different phases to it that many other pain states don't have. And in reality, migraine is more similar to epilepsy than it is to many other pain states. So there, I think there's a lot of parallels between migraine and seizure disorders. And so I think that if we made enough insight into migraine to really figure out what's going on, there might actually be some, some parallel insights that we could potentially make into seizures. So there are some exciting developments in migraine therapeutics. There are some monoclonal antibodies to a protein called calcitonin gene-related peptide, and this is known as CGRP. Uh, and there are clinical trials ongoing with four different companies, and four different antibodies, and they all look uh, exciting in terms of new therapeutics. So I think there's going to be something new for migraine patients within the next probably two years or so. So, you know, many patients are suffering with therapeutics that just don't work that well. I think there is hope for those patients because there will be something new soon.